Hey, a pleasant good morning to you. Uh, you know Genesis chapter 3 and verse 4 says, And the serpent said unto the woman, Ye shall not surely die. Why doubt God who said that you shall die if you pick up the fruit and eat of it and believe Satan? Why do that? But you know, you may criticize Eve, but that is exactly what many human beings are doing right now. Uh, we know that somebody has died and people come with all types of jiggery puggery story trying to tie up our head. God say, you shall surely die. But we know that, but we still don't accept what God said. God is the originator of life. And if he said, secondly, in Romans chapter 6, verse uh, 23, that the wages of sin is death. Listen, that is what it is. If you don't want to die, do not sin. But you know that is impossible because all have sinned and have come short of the glory of God. Uh, listen, whenever you are thinking about who to trust, it is always the better deal to trust the person who you have a relationship with and who has made sure over the years that they kept their side of the bargain. Listen, Eve broke that. She had a relationship with God. He came down on a daily basis and had church with them, worshiped with Eve and Adam. But yet, the person she did not know, that is Satan, she preferred to agree to do what Satan asked her to do. Let us stop that. And in our spiritual lives, as well as in our daily relationships, husbands and wives, parents and children, never you make the decision to try what somebody who you do not know try to get you to do. Think about that. Do not make the decision like Eve did to try what somebody who you don't know and don't trust and give up on doing what the person who you know and trust has told you to do. If we follow, go against what Eve did and make sure that those persons in our lives, our husbands, our wives, uh, our children, if we do what they tell us to do and we have proven that we can trust their word, if we do that, our family lives will be better. God and Father, guide us as we go through the day and help us not to follow the way of Eve, to trust someone we don't know and give up on the person who we know well. Guide our minds and help us to think about the consequences of our choices. In Jesus' name I thank you. Amen. May God richly bless you as you go through the day. Thank you.